In this video, we're going to work on the Khan Academy Project Fish Tank. So, all they've done so far really is given us this fish to work with. And we can scroll up and see the instructions that they want us to use. So, they want us to first of all create a custom function that draws a fish. Um, so, to do that, we're going to come down here. And in this case, sometimes you want your background to be in there, but in this case, we want to leave the background above that. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to um, uh, put all of the contents of the fish, essentially, all of this stuff is going to be inside of this function that I'm going to make. And it's, I'm going to make it into a variable function too. So I'm going to put uh, var and I'm going to do draw fish and I want that to be equals function and then I'm going to put uh, my brackets in here and curly bracket and I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom and do a curly bracket and a semicolon All right, so now I don't have any fish here. What I need to do to actually draw the fish is to type, uh, to actually call this variable. So if I, I've defined a variable here, this draw fish equals this entire function. So if I wanted to call it, then I just need to type draw fish. And now I have the same fish that I basically originally started with. I've just done it this way. So let's see what else they want us to do. So now we need to add two parameters to the function to control either the size or the position of the fish. So in this case, what I want to do is instead of using the variable here to define how the position of the fish, I want to be able to add it up here and then add it down here and then that will let me kind of basically control it when I call it instead of letting it be controlled up here so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do center X comma center Y and I'm actually gonna comment these out because I don't think I need them right now anymore for this so kind of ignore those pretend they're not there anymore and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put now what I can do is the what I put in the parentheses when I call it matches up with this up here. And then this right here goes down and fills in wherever these are. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but that's what's happening. So then I'm just going to put um, I'm just going to put 250 and 150 and so now before it was up here a little bit more because I had 200 and 100 but now I made it 250 and 150 so it moved down here a little bit so that's I mean that's completing that step I think we I think we did that so now call the function many times with different values as arguments so that your screen is filled with fish so let's do let's keep doing and repeat this um, a few more times so I'm going to take my draw fish. I'm going to copy it. One, two, three. So now I got I have four fish, but they're all being drawn in the same spot. So let's let's uh, move some. Actually, let's just leave this one right there. Um, let's move this guy back here. Move him down a little bit. Move this guy back here. Move him up a little bit. And, and move him over move them down so now I have the fish four different times and I'm passing these four different uh, parameters through the function uh, to get the fish in different spots so that's pretty cool so uh, now I can add more parameters to the function for example color tail width any of these things so let's do that so I need to come up here and I'm gonna comment out again I'm gonna just gonna work on the tail width I'm gonna comment that out and I'm gonna come here 
and I'm going to add another comma and I'm going to say tail width. So now the tail width will be whatever I put as the third item in this list of numbers here will be the tail width. So let's make one, let's make this guy just be really short. So it's going to be five. And so the width is from here to here. It's not very long, but let's make this guy have a really long tail. So he's going to be 100. So that's pretty long. At 25 and 55. Okay, so now we have all different fish with all different um, shapes and sizes of uh, of tails there. So that's that's great. Um, and add seaweed to the tank or pebbles or bubbles floating to the top. So that's something you can do too. So you'd basically just do the same sort of thing that we've already done here with all these. Let's, I think, I think we can knock this out pretty fast. Let's do like some some bubbles here that should be pretty easy right so var draw bubbles equals function the location of the ellipse is going to be bub x bub y and the width and the height they're going to be bub width and bub height and I need to define all of those so I'm going to do bub x equals random and I'm going to say it can be between 50 and 200 and bub y and um, 30 and 100 and the size is going to be bub equals random um, 10 to 50. And let's say bub height equals bub width and then I just need to add my semicolons after all of these guys and then now I want to call the draw bubbles and again I always do this I forget to add the word var in front of all these things. And I should probably give my bubbles a color. I want them to be white. And right now I only have one. So I have a bunch of bubbles, but they're all kind of clustered up over here. So I probably need to change like um, the one of these things here. That moves them down a little bit. That looks better. So now, 
every time I hit restart, it's grabbing random numbers in between these and it's making a big pile of bubbles randomly on the page. And I could do that I could actually do the same thing to the fish. I could make the fish appear randomly too if I wanted to. Um and yeah, in this case I didn't add any parameters, so the parameters are the things that go up when you're creating the variable of the function the parameters go here and then you can define them here but in this case I want to use just random bubbles um, so I didn't I didn't do anything with that I just let them be like that so that's good and then let's use the uh, mouse clicked function to add more fish wherever the user clicks so to do that let's come above my bubbles let's come right here and I'm gonna do mouse clicked equals function and I'm gonna put in draw fish so I'm doing I'm calling this thingy up here this draw fish the same I mean I'm I actually, I'm not calling this one, I'm calling the one that's up here, but I'm doing the same thing as what these are doing. I'm just putting it inside a mouse clicked. And I'm gonna say that the location should be um, mouse X and mouse Y. And let's make the, the tail is just gonna be a normal 30, because I think I still need to I still need to tell it wh what size to make the the tail width because remember I have tail width up here so I have to have all three of these and I need to add my semicolon and it says the function is not defined I did something wrong let's try capital mouse clicked equals function let's make that a n and let's add a semicolon so now restart oh I got a fish I got a fish I got a fish everywhere I click now I get a fish because I'm saying mouse clicked when the mouse is clicked do this step what is the step draw a fish where do I draw the fish mouse X and mouse Y how wide do I make the tail 30 so restart if I wanted I could change this I could make this 5 and I could have a bunch of really tiny short finned fish and that's pretty much it I think we I think we did that that is how you can work on your fish tank.